In problem number 41 of section 2.2, .2, we proved that uh, the Riemann sum is linear uh, for any partition and any sample, meaning that if we have two continuous functions, f and g, uh, defined on the same closed and bounded interval, uh, a, b, then the Riemann sum with partition p and sample set s of um, c, f plus g, where c is some constant, is equal to uh, C times the Riemann sum on F plus the Riemann sum on G. Uh, now, in order to compute this, we'll just start out on the left-hand side and write out the uh, definition of the Riemann sum. So we'll suppose that uh, it's a partition of size n. So we'll be summing from I equals 1 to n. Um, and this will be over uh, the function cf plus g evaluated at the sample points uh, times delta xi where delta xi is um, xi uh, plus 1 minus x, or xi minus xi minus 1. Uh, now, uh, this is, of course, equal to uh, I equals sum of from I equals 1 to n of C f of S i uh, plus G of S i, uh, just using the definition um, of the sum of two functions, times delta x i. And this is equal to the sum of uh, C f of s i delta x i plus uh, g of s i times delta x i, where we just distribute the delta x i um, through on the left. And now we can break the sum into two pieces. Uh, so I have the sum from i equals 1 uh, to n of c times f of s i. But we can uh, use linear linearity of summation to pull the c out outside the summation symbol. And that leaves us with f of s i uh, delta x i uh, inside the summation symbol. And on the right, we have or, the, or excuse me, the next term, we have the sum from i equals 1 to n of g of si delta xi. And, of course, now this is equal to c times, you can recognize this as the Riemann sum uh, on, of the function f. And, of course, we're still using the same partition and sample set. And here, this is the Riemann sum on G. So we see that uh, the claim of the problem actually is true, that if we have uh, two functions that are continuous on a closed and bounded interval, then no matter what partition we choose, what sample set we choose, um, that the Riemann sum will be linear.